Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, do you guys recognize this little dude? I didn't know him, <laughs> but I had a private class yesterday and this was what they requested. So I wanted to also record it, make it available for them and you guys as well. So, okay, we're doing this little guy at 24 inches. So I'm gonna go over here and just put in 24. And we're partially, we're doing it at 24 because um, he is so stinking wide. <laughs> His face is all like one big piece. So I really wanted to make sure that his face is I mean, unfortunately, his face is his also his body, like the same color and it's light. Um, I want to try to do it as seamless as possible. And I think at 24 inches, we were able to do it uh, with some tricks. So let's get started on this guy. The other thing that I want to do is, I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out, but let's duplicate him so that we always have a visual of what he looks like. Um, but on this one, let's flatten it. And the reason why I used to not bring in another one is because then I would get confused which piece is, you know, for, is it the duplicate or is it the one that I'm working on when I want to isolate a piece? But if you flatten it, it's a cut and print. Like, duh, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, that's going to be one of my new steps for off the map. And the reason is because he has such a big, um, spots right so that I want to make sure that later when we get to this to the um, process part of the process where we're actually slicing his background which would be this dark blue I want to make sure that I'm not slicing right down the spots um, this spot's not bad because we can cover it up by doing a circle that's just that size but it's right here in his ear so it's unlikely right but I just don't want to slice right here through this spot or maybe through here. All right, so here's our little guy. Um, let's look at this one. Let's ungroup him and kind of just start moving things out. So here's the blue and it's all attached together, right? So it looks like it's really big, but we just need to slice this up. So let's go to our shapes and get our square because technically right now, this is six inches by 13 inches. You can't cut it unless you have a 12 by 24 mat and cardstock, right? So we don't wanna do that. Let's grab the paw and we're separating the paw. So the paw is completely within this square and let's slice the square and the paw. So I'm grabbing those two items. You can only slice two items at one time. And I'm gonna slice. And you can do, you know, I that's already there. I can slice out this by doing this. And you don't have to move everything out of the way. You just need to make sure that when you're slicing, your cursor is only grabbing the dark blue, like the, the eyes and the square and slice. Okay, so now we can move that out of the way. We can get rid of our slice results because we don't need that. So now later when we go to cut this, we can put this much closer together and it actually probably, you know, will not take up that much space. Okay, so here's our blue. It's all done. Um, let's see his, let's ungroup some more. Let's see what else we have here. We have the tongue, which is all good. We have the eyes. Okay, so now we have this gigantic face, right? So one of my favorite fonts Let's go to our fonts and you're like, what the heck, right? But search for, hopefully you have it, I Love Glitter. If you don't have it, it is free on Defont. So just go to Defont, which is D-A-F-O-N-T. I promise you it's a safe site and you can find it. Okay, what I like about this font, I don't love the actual letters itself, but this is the square bracket. So it's the, the two keys to the right of the letter P. I like it because it gives me like that little curve and shape. So I like it because I want to create a break right here so that the face doesn't include the chin because you have that over here. So I kind of want to do that here. I also want to do a break right here to separate his ear so that his face alone hopefully will be 11 and a half inches. Okay, so let's ungroup this. Let's grab our first little one 
And see, I like this curve right here that I feel like it's really hard to recreate that with my shapes. So I'm gonna do something like this. And let's grab this. And if you hit the shift key, you can go down here and click on the light blue. And I wanna slice those two things out. Okay, so here is our black. We don't need that. Um, our slice results over here, this blue. What I want is, if you notice, let me make this bigger so you can kind of see it. My line cut through into his face right here. I want to weld this back. The only thing that I really want to disappear is this up here. So if I go to my slice result and click on contour, I can get rid of this top piece that I don't want. And see, so now that piece is gone, but this piece is still here. So I want this slice result, hit the shift key, grab this, and let's weld it back together and fix that face. So see, it's back all perfect. <laughs> let's grab this slice result. We can delete that, I don't need that. Okay, so let me make this smaller. And so now you can see what it looks like. And look, now he has a deliberate cut at the ear. I don't think that looks crazy because this ear is separated. This ear is now separated. And um, let's do that one more slice right here. So I'm going to take this guy and I kind of want it curved this way. So let's do this. And see how it's underneath things, you can just go to arrange and send to the front. So then our black line is to the front. And I don't know, something like that. Maybe like that. Okay, so let's grab the black line and the light blue right over here and slice. Same thing with this one. The slice results, we can just delete. And because there's so much going on over here, that's why I'm using my right-hand side panel to delete things. I don't need this slice result. I'm gonna go delete that. This slice result, I want to just get rid of this one here. Everything else I need to put back together on the face, okay? So let's go to contour. And if you click on where the 177% is, if you click on that middle space, it will bring you to 100, which is what we want. All right, so we wanna get rid of this little guy and this guy, right? Because that's right here. And then let's grab the slice results and the, um, the light blue piece and weld it back together so that the top part of his mouth gets back together as well as this body. Okay. So that looks pretty good, right? Oh, I guess maybe I could have made it slant a little bit more for next time. All right, the next piece is, I know this body, let's see, let's click on him. It's 24 inches wide, right? I think this needs to be sliced up here. So we're gonna separate the body from the paw and the arm. And I think that will get us um, the width to be less than um, 12 inches, okay? Uh, so let's go back, oops, get my handy dandy little bracket, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And let's make this big so we can see what we're doing. Okay. So here's my little line. This one's going to be a little bit harder to, oh, actually, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so let's grab this black line, the light blue and slice. And let's get rid of our slice results. So this is the first one. I'm going to click on that, delete, click on this, delete. Okay, so now my blue, I want to get rid of this and this right here. So let's click on that contour. And I want to get rid of this. I think that's it. Okay. Yep. All right, so then I'm gonna grab the slice results already highlighted, hit the shift key, grab the light blue and weld him back together to fix him up. And now we have a deliberate cut here, a deliberate cut here and one right here. So let's see what we have, okay? Um, all right, so he is one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, okay? So let me make this smaller. 
I'm going to contour because these are going to be hard to slice apart. So with contour, if I want six separate pieces, then I need six copies total. So I have my one copy. I'm going to go to duplicate. Here's my second, third, fourth, fifth, and six. One at a time, we're going to contour everything out, okay? So here's our first one. Let's go to contour. And you can just hide all. And it left the face, right? But in the face, I do want the eyes and the nose cut out. So just click on that and then exit out. So there's our face. Perfect. Oh, wait, let's see how big our face is. 11.2 by 11.7. All right. We can shift this guy. Let's see, maybe a little bit over. Okay, so now it's 11.4 by 11.6. We're very close. Let's see if we can shift him just a little bit more. Okay. It's close. So this is 11.492 and 11.529. Technically, it's going to ask you to put a 12 by 24 mat. But I, because this is 11.529, it is close enough to 11.5. I'm just going to pretend that I have 12 by 24 cardstock and let it cut and it, <clears throat> it will cut fine. All right, so here's our face and it's going to be without seams, right? That's the important thing. Um, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's go to our next one, contour, hide all, and let's just go down the panel over here. So now we have our ear, we don't need the face, and then I want the spot in the ear. All right, so here's our beautiful ear. Let's do the next one, contour, hide all. Now I want the third piece, right? I don't need the face. Let's see, do we need anything? Oh, we need that little hole. Okay, so here's our cute little body. Let's go up here, contour, hide all. Now I want this piece. I don't want the face, so that's the ear. The ear is all good. Okay, something like that. Okay, next one. Um, contour, hide all, we need the paw, and let's get rid of the face. But within the paws, we have the little cutout. So let's go and select those little items. All right, so we have the paw. Oh, we need the mouth. I'm like, what's left? Okay, so this last one, contour, hide all. We want this guy up here. We don't need the face. All right, so now he's in pieces that we can cut. We're all good there, so let's get rid of this one. Okay, let's build our, you know, all, all our squares so that we can slice this guy up. He's 24 inches by 20.25. So we're gonna need three columns, right? Because our cardstock is, it can only cut 11 and a half, or in my case, I'm gonna cut 11, but 11 and a half plus 11 and a half is still just 23, and this is 24. So we need three columns and two rows. So let's go to shapes, bring in a square. All right, so as I kind of alluded to um, the, the size of the square, I'm going to make it 11 by 11. And I do that just because the half inch in this case doesn't matter anyway. We still needed three columns, even if I made this 11 and a half by 11 and a half, which is what the Cricut can cut, right? But I don't like dealing with half inches. So let's just do this. Put this down. We're going to use the position feature over here. This is uh, basically your X coordinate and your Y coordinate. So if you round this to the nearest whole number, so 4.33 becomes 4. 3.389 becomes three. I'm basically telling design space, go over four units, go down three units, and that's gonna be the tip, the start of my square. I'm gonna duplicate that. And we know that this started at four, so four plus the 11, this should be at 15, right? But because we put it close enough, you don't have to do any math. You can just round to the nearest whole number, which this would be 15 and three. Oops, all right. So let's duplicate again, put this one really close and round. So that becomes 26, that becomes three. 
All right, so now we have three perfectly flushed squares. Grab all three of them and duplicate. So we don't need to make these three flush with each other, just with the ones on top. So again, if you put this close enough, then we can round this to four and 14. And the reason why I like this is I wanna make sure that it's as seamless as possible. So with it being the squares like that, all the pieces are gonna be pushed up against each, each other when you, um, after you cut it and you're trying to tape it together. It's a lot easier when the four corners go in together and you can just push it all up. The other thing is that you don't have any gaps. If for some reason you kind of miss something, you just wanna make sure that it's all good. Okay, so let's scroll down. We're almost done. Scroll down to get our background. So it's this guy, arrange, send to the front. Let's see where we're slicing him, okay? Now this is where this print and cut guy comes in. Let's send that all the way to the front. Where it is right now, is let's zoom in so we can see so this would slice right down through this spot this would slice down through this spot which would suck <laughs> all right so now that we know that let's grab the flattened image as well as this and let's just group them together right now so that they move as one piece, okay? Um, so we don't like where that's cutting. So let's move this over. And this is not a bad, sp oh, you know what? This, hmm. this is not a bad spot to cut because, oh no, wait, over here. Let's move this guy over. Um, maybe something like that. Oh, we might need another row. So if you're really trying to perfect this, right? I, um, oh, I don't want to cut there. That would cut right in the middle of that. So, this is actually pretty good. Needs to go down. There's really no good way to cut this guy. He's like, he'll have a slice right there. Um, let's see. This would go down here. Yeah, there's really no good. Let's move him a little bit and see if that helps. Trying to do whatever we can here. Um, this one we can cut through because you can just put cut a circle this size and cover that seam because it's um, it's enclosed. This one you can't because it's gonna cut. Unless you want to do a circle right here behind this, you'll have a seam here, but then this will be seamless. That might be a good idea. Okay, so let's make this smaller. I don't think that there's a really good way to get this guy seamless. Oops, let me move that out of the way. Um, okay. So let's slice him up and see what we can do. Actually, that's pretty good, right? Oh no, that's gonna get that. I think we need a third row because then we can slice here, which will not be in this ear. Okay, so let's do that. So let's grab these three squares and duplicate. And this is just so that we can make him seamless, okay? Um, let's move my face, change that to four and 25. Okay, bring this to the front. Okay, so now we're slicing right in this big circle. 
no big deal, right? We can go get that piece. Let me show you how to handle that. So here's his ear, right? Duplicate this and go to contour. And instead of wanting the outside, we actually just want, oops, hold on. Where's that circle? Here's the circle. We want this circle. Oh, hold on. Hide all first. We want this circle. We don't want this face. So now you have this circle, make it dark blue, um, this blue to match the, you know, the, the spot. And you see when you go to piece this together, you're going to have the ear and you know you're going to have a seam, basically four, a lot of seams right here, you know, <laughs> a big X, but you won't because we're going to put this right on top of your blue background. It's going to look seamless. Okay. So that's your piece. Um, everything else, we do need to move him a little bit because his toe is going to be cut off right here. Let's see if we can move him over just a little bit more. Okay. And let's see if we can move him down just a little bit. Maybe even a little bit more. All right. So I think that looks really good. All right, so now we can ungroup this guy, get rid of the print and cut, and let's slice this guy up. So he's gonna be in some pieces here. So we're gonna slice one square at a time. So the square and the image. And you see how I'm just touching enough to get the image and my square, and then I'm slicing. This one doesn't have anything, so I can just delete it. Let's go up here, let's grab these two, slice, slice, keep slicing. Okay, I'm gonna move him over just a little bit. And when I move these over, I'm moving it over so I can just grab all my slice results and delete it. I like to move it over and keep it in the same form um, because then I don't have to try to piece it together later. I know this piece, this little one goes right here and that way you're not, um, oops, let me undo that. I moved it a little bit. Let's grab these two. I didn't finish slicing either. Okay, here we go. That goes here. This goes here this here and this here and then we're done so let's grab all of this and delete mm, save this guy clues i think i don't even know this character <laughs> okay and let's go to the make it screen just so you can see now there was something that i wanted to show you this piece right here is three separate pieces. We could keep it together like this, or we can actually separate it. And I tend to lean on separating it because it might be that we end up saving a whole piece of cardstock because we can move this little guy to another screen. Maybe he'll fit right here or something like that. So, and it's easy to do. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to grab this slice. And he belongs here, right? And then this one, let's do that. And you see, I was in a lot of traffic, but I only grabbed exactly what I needed. So it still let me slice. So let's get rid of that. All right. And let's see if that's going to make a difference later when we go to cut. All right, let's delete that, save it. And let's go to the make it page. This is a cute little character. I don't know what else is gonna, what other characters are included, but he's pretty cute, I think. Okay, so we have a warning sign. One of our images is more than 11 and a half, and we know it's the face, but it's okay. We're just gonna say, don't worry about it, move on. So here's our white, here's our blue, black background. All right, we're good there. This one, we're good. 
Okay, it didn't seem like it mattered because we still needed how many pieces, how many pages is that? Four, four sheets of the dark blue cardstock. And that's okay. All right, so here's the face. Um, and you see, okay, first of all, what's going on here? Okay, there. Um, it's gonna cut really close right there. I'm okay with that just on here though. Let's move this one down. If you have a 12 by 24 mat, then just put two sheets of cardstock, one up here and one down here, and it'll just cut as if it's a 12 by 24. If you don't have the 12 by 24, then we need to move these two off this mat. And you would do that by clicking on it, the three dots, move object, and you can either move it, oh, we can move it here because it looks like there's plenty of space here. All right, so there's that piece. And then this piece we can move over here like this. And then we still have that other piece, the paw. So let's go back over here, click on the paw, three dots, move object. And we can put it here. I feel like we can move one more piece over. Is there enough room for this guy? Um, I feel like between these three sheets, we can consolidate to two. I won't take up your time to do that, but I feel like if you move this body down, you can fit one of these bigger pieces, like maybe this one. And then without this piece, then the paw and this little mouth part can fit with the ear. That's what I would do. All right, here's our spots in our nose. Oh no, our paws in our nose, our tongue, and that's it. Super, super cute. All right, let me know if you have any questions or comments on how I did something that maybe you have a suggestion. Or if you just have another project, let me know. I'm on Instagram, The Useless Crafter, No Spaces. YouTube, of course, where you're watching the video, and also on Facebook, The Useless Crafter. All right, thanks, guys. Oh, or you can also email me, Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. Thanks, guys.